Hi there. Today I want to talk about lift printing and it's a lift printing used to be a great darkroom technique. Uh, a little bit technical. You use list developer which gives you a completely black and white photo but by diluting it to ridiculous amounts and extending the development time enormously it created these lovely sort of fine art prints. It was a technique really pioneered by a printer called Gene Nocon. Uh, in the late 70s, early 80s, absolute brilliant printer. He taught me how to print, how to darkroom print. Uh, astonishing guy. And it's characterised, I've just got a few prints here I'm going to run through very quickly. It's characterised by these slightly peachy toned images uh, with, and this sounds horrendous, doesn't it? Blocked up blacks. You've got that here, this lovely sort of blocked up, gritty black look but this beautifully delicate peach tone through there. Depending on how much you dilute the developer, how long you expose, how long you develop, and development times could run to sort of 20-25 minutes, you've got a stronger pinker tone. It was a fantastic technique with infrared. It gave just the most gloriously delicate tones like that. Uh, and just one more. There you go. Final one. Um, another infrared tree, you've got these peachy tones here, the, the gritty blacks coming here, creeping in the sky there, it really brings out the sort of granular aspects. Goes against a huge amount of what we're always taught about fine grain and detail in the shadows and everything else, but it just gives that wonderful sort of look. Not many people do darkroom work anymore and I've been playing around digitally to try and create the, a similar effect in Photoshop. I thought I had it um, and then I just tried another technique and I think I've improved it even further. So we're going to switch now to Lightroom and have a look at a couple of examples and a few uh, photos that I've worked on. Having seen the darkroom version of a list print now we need to take a digital print and achieve the same effect in Photoshop. Now the character, I thought this photo would be ideal for it, but the characteristic of list prints is some of these dark tones, just a few of them need to be really thick and gritty uh, with blacks. Uh, so do some of the shadows here and maybe a little bit of the texture in here. But the other thing about list prints is they're very soft and they're very delicate elsewhere and the texture within this area is just too strong so we need to soften that as well. Fortunately the whole thing can be done with one simple adjustment layer and the change of a blending mode. If we go up here to a little used adjustment layer I will admit it's threshold click on there you get a pure lith image this is what the term lith really refers to it is pure black it is pure white there is nothing in between there are no grays in that image whatsoever and the default setting is a midpoint on the histogram. If we take that midpoint and we turn it, drag it to the right, we increase the amount of blacks within the image. If we drag it to the left, we increase the amount of whites in the image. On this photo, I think somewhere around 63, 64, 65, I don't know, something like that works absolutely perfectly. We're getting that nice deep blacks in enough areas without it clogging up too much. And if we change the blending mode from normal to soft light, we're going to just bring, there's our soft light, that lighter tone into all of those mid-tone areas. It looks horrible as a uh, colour print, but when we, once we turn it into a duo tone, it'll look good. Now, duo tones do not work with um, black and white adjustment layers. They only work with grayscale. And if you go up here, you'll notice that image mode and grayscale sits there. Now grayscale will only work on flattened images. You will notice we've still got a separate adjustment layer on this. So if I click on grayscale it will ask if I can flatten the image which I can and then to discard the color information which I can and it turns it into a, pure, a black and white with very very soft delicate grays. But that's that's starting to look like a list print but it hasn't got those lovely peachy tones there. And to do that, we need now to introduce uh, duo tones. Again, if we go up to image and we drop to mode and we go to uh, 
you notice duotone is still greyed out of course so we have to go down to 8 bits per channel instead of 16. so if you're working from a raw file you're going to have to drop it down to an 8-bit file if you're working from a jpeg it'd probably be an 8-bit anyway we'll click on there we'll go back onto image back onto mode duotone is no longer greyed out so we can now click on it hey presto we've got the result how have we done that well our first tone in duotone is black our second tone is any color you like um, this initially comes purely with a picker and you can choose anything you want from blue to green to some sort of yellowy tone i spent a little bit of time before doing this video peach picking the right tone of peach that sort of appealed to me click on ok if i try and save that like that it's going to throw a wobbly because it all ink names must be specified you haven't got to worry about pantone colors you can call it anything you like i'm just going to call it peach because it's a sort of peachy color click on ok and bang we've done it it's as simple as that let's look at some other examples let's now take a look at a few examples this is the one we worked up in photoshop earlier and of course this is the color version when we add the list processing style I think the tree in the foreground becomes more dominant over the background which is now recessed to some extent and the textures in the rocks on the right hand side I think just stand out that little bit more this was shot on Great Mel Fell um, last Christmas Eve a good heavy dark stormy sky um, printed as a, a moody dramatic black and white I think it works quite well but a lift treatment gives a totally different feel to it I've lightened the clouds in the top as you will see as it comes in but it brings out the detail and the texture in the trees I think that little bit better this was uh, quite simple a lamp and a water outlet in a wall in um, Tuscany I love the textures of the wall uh, and I wanted to bring out those textures a little more and bring out the grittiness in the shadows um, this is probably the one that shows the the least difference between regular and the lith effect but you can see that sort of grainy grittiness within the shadows which is going to be marmite some of you will love it some of you will hate it i know that we come on to this one which was uh, a photo i shot in the jardin majorel in uh, marrakesh which was yves saint laurent's house what drew me to this as an image was the strength of the yellow against the blue but those shadows of the cactus uh, being cast against the wall I took this to stay as a color print I never thought that it would become a black and white image let alone a lith image but I gave it a go and I actually really like the result it's, it's nothing like what I expected but it really brings out those shadows and the gritty graininess of the texture on the wall so sometimes you can surprise yourself the kelpies at Falkirk shot with a big stopper filter and a 30 second exposure uh, of course on a tripod um, to soften the sky and, and blur the clouds out to make the kelpies really stand out interestingly giving this that bit of lith treatment brings out more sort of grain granularity in the uh, concrete below the kelpies but I think it almost makes the water and the sky take on a, a, almost the same sort of metallic feel as the kelpies themselves this was an infrared shot uh, taken in Tuscany which was always going to be black and white of course um, I, I really was drawn to this piece of agricultural machinery in the foreground with the grass uh, entangled around the blades and the tree in the mid distance the valley dominant tree I kind of felt that the tree and the agricultural machinery just competed a little with one another so that became a little bit awkward but I thought by turning into a lith print it makes the agricultural machinery in the foreground certainly those the diagonal and vertical pieces of metal it brings out the grittiness in that but it makes the tree less dominant and I think it balances the whole photo just like that little bit better and finally um, a shot I did of a, a wonderful crumbly wall in Croatia um, I like the wall I love the tree uh, and I wanted to bring out the texture in the trees and the 
uh, slightly run down nature of the wall. It already had a pink tone so it lends itself beautifully to a bit of lift treatment so it retains the pink tone but it brings out those black textures. I really hope you've enjoyed looking at these. I hope you've learned a bit. Um, please go away and try it out now. Uh, leave me feedback below. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed please do. It's always nice to, to build the audience and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching.